guys i needed that to like boost my energy a little bit also because I feel like this moment right before spring is when the cold and the sicknesses really start to come alive because it's like you don't know how to dress you might be dressing too little and then you step outside and it's a little too cold and the next thing you know you're sneezing and coughing so i'm trying to avoid that at all costs happy spring i don't know when you're watching this but when i'm filming it it's not yet the official first day of spring hey siri what's the first day of spring tomorrow why did I think it was the 21st? Tomorrow's the first day of spring. I didn't even know that. I thought like I had an, another week. So I guess this is more fitting than I actually realized. We're doing a spring reset. I've kind of been putting off doing a lot of the cleaning that I need to do. For this reset, we're gonna be cleaning the space physically. Got new bed sheets, new bedding, a new duvet cover. So those are currently washing, but I haven't cleaned my room in a while. Bathroom needs to get deep clean. I've been putting off cleaning my bathroom for a good while. Also, I wanted to do like a little bit of like a self reset, not a glow up because I want to do like a separate glow up video vibe. And then also I kind of wanted to reset and do my reading journal and do like a monthly reading reset. Today's my free day off of school. So I have almost all day today. Tonight's the bachelor so my friend is coming over to watch the bachelor later today so i kind of want to be finished at least cleaning and doing like all of my trash and stuff before the afternoon so i got a bunch of amazon packages i've been spending a little bit too much money on amazon but i needed cleaning supplies i needed new bathtub scrubbers the one that i have just doesn't get in the nooks and crannies and then i'm pretty sure this is clorox to clean the bathtub my mom was telling me you could clean your bathtub with dishwashing soap because it cuts the grease the same way as like for pans as it does for like your bathtub and stuff like that but i had already ordered this before i realized that and i got of course it was amazon so you could only get like a set of three so now i have three big things of clorox disinfectant cleaner should we start off strong with the bathroom or should i start off doing my trash i think i want to start off sorting my trash doing my recycle doing all that and then do the bathroom and then do the kitchen and then do my bedroom that order might change but that's what i'm thinking right now so home alone right now so i think i'm gonna do a speaker moment instead of turning on the tv i feel like a good little playlist will help motivate me to get this done in like a timely manner <laughs> to get this out of the way but this is how my bathroom's looking i mean it doesn't look like crazy on camera but like when i get close and personal you could kind of see the can you see my mirror like my mirror has needs to be cleaned and then i have three mirrors basically this one is really effed up this one's really bad gotta clean the tub
because literally scrubbing my tub felt like an Olympic sport and I started sweating. And then I looked in the mirror and I realized that like my ponytail was lifting. So I was like, mm -mm, mm -mm. I had to put on a headscarf and I'm gonna need it to marinate. I'm pretty sure I'm done with my bathroom all except vacuuming my rug, but I'm gonna vacuum my rug when I vacuum like the whole place. That way I'm not like taking the vacuum out twice the mask came in clutch because like i could not breathe in here with all of these chemicals we look good we look cute I, my pads still like maybe i should get like i think i should get like a basket for like my period products because right now they just sit on the side everything's clean cleaned my mirror the countertop i added this wooden thing just because i feel like it makes it look more put together and then this is the same i'm probably gonna burn a candle later on once i finish to get the clorox smell out the part that took the longest the one thing that is so that was really working up a sweat is these like little what are these called grouts bro these are a menace to clean and it's like it's one of those things where like you don't even realize when they're getting dirty until they turn like a different color and i'm like uh-uh there's so much of them i was really trying to scrub it but i was like there has to be an easier way to clean these i did most of them but honestly i got a little bit tired so you know this is what we're left with i'm trying to decide i got the rest of the laundry going so then eventually i could do my bed and my bedroom my bedroom looks crazy but i feel like once all my bedding is washed and dried that's when i could start my bedroom and i gotta figure out all of this stuff i think i want to take like a food break and eat breakfast once i eat food then i could do the kitchen i think so i'll eat and then i'll do the kitchen and then i think by the time i finish the kitchen hopefully the laundry will be done and i could like make some headway on my bed <laughs> I did nothing all i did was clean i think it was really like the scrubbing of the tub really kind of took me out like that was really oh that was really tiring i'm pretty much done cleaning i'm really just waiting on the sheets and stuff to finish i put the sheets on my bed the new sheets because that finished first it's like showing up weird on camera it's like overexposing 
but it's like this mint green colored sheet. I wanted to try something new and fun just to, I don't know, just have like a cuter bed. And then the duvet is like a checkered print that you guys will see. I got it from Amazon though, so I'll have it linked in my bio and stuff. All of it I got from Amazon, like the duvet, the new pillows, the sheets, everything. I like the color. I'm just worried that it's like the white helps to make the room feel open and airy. So I'm worried that this is going to make my room feel much more smaller. I do like the color. I also am just like, I hate having corner beds. I'm really sick and tired and I'm really looking forward to the day when I have a big enough room to have like a bed in the middle of my room. Corner beds suck with like just making a bed look presentable. It's not really like warm at all out here. I came out onto the terrace, but I feel like I just needed a moment to breathe in some fresh air. After breathing in like Clorox, this show counter cleaner windex like i'm just breathing in all the unnatural things and i'm like my throat is kind of feeling it so the bachelor was pushed back later tonight like it's at nine instead of eight tonight is going to be the women tell all which the women tell all is like when all the women that have been like voted off come back because it's like the one right before the finale the one right before we see who he picks i've been very in invested in this bachelor season just because i like the women on it i love maria i really hope she's gonna be our bachelorette and i also really love kelsey a like if for some reason ABC doesn't want to make Maria the Bachelorette, I would be really, really happy with Kelsey A being the Bachelorette. She just has a cool vibe. I wouldn't really want Daisy to be the Bachelorette because I, I don't hate Daisy. I'm just a little bit bored by her. And I feel like it could be her edit. I feel like ABC isn't really giving her a good edit because like every time she's on camera, she's not really giving us much. She's not, she's not really giving us much entertainment. And at the end of the day, like, yes, it is a show about like finding your husband, finding love, but also like, why would ABC not want to pick someone that's going to keep everybody entertained? Because everybody's saying like, oh, Maria can't be the Bachelorette. She's not mature yet. She's she's not mentally mature. And I'm like, realistically, I don't care. Like, none of these engagements ever even work out anyways. Less than 2% of the Bachelor engagements actually end up going to marriage and lasting. So it's like, I don't really care if they're not mature or they're not ready for marriage. I'm here for a good time. I'm here for a good time, not a long time. multiple days but I think it's been like a full two days which is purposeful because I've been dreading this part of my little spring reset because it's just like it's like the most tedious but you would think the cleaning was the most tedious but I was actually looking forward to the cleaning this aspect of the reset I really could live without I really could live without and I'm like not a fan right now is the time when I'm gonna have to shave listen I don't know if this is like a crazy statement but like I don't shave my legs in the winter I don't know if like that's unnormal or normal. Like I really haven't like done a survey to ask people if they shave their legs in the winter. I'm not doing it. I'm not wearing shorts in the winter. Maybe if I lived in a warmer climate, I would shave my legs in the winter. But literally nobody has seen my legs since October. Once October ends and the, and the shorts get terminated, I'm no longer shaving my legs. Maybe because like I'm in my single era. So realistically, nobody, nobody, is seeing my legs. Now we gotta do our spring shave after the winter hibernation. And it's just like, it's not gonna be fun. I mean, it's gonna be fine. I use the Venus 
Gillette Flow Razor, the one that has the this is the one that has the little gel thing on them, but then I was like, I don't know, like everybody says everything about everything. And I just saw a TikTok of a girl saying that like the toxins in these gel things like exude something that's really toxic and then like going into your pores is like really bad. I don't know. At this point, like everything in society is toxic. And at this point, like I should just move into the wilderness make a campfire and survive off of a lake. There's nothing that I could do at this point. Like everything is toxic. Everything is toxic. There's no way for me to win. Because I'm shaving my legs, I literally have not used my exfoliant in so long, but I am looking forward to like exfoliating. This is the Tree Hut Vanilla Shea Sugar Scrub. Honestly, I got this last fall or something. I got, no, like this past fall, like probably like five months ago. And it's nowhere even near scratched the surface. So as long as this doesn't expire quite often, this is gonna last me a good amount of time. Great investment. It smells really good and obviously like it makes my skin feel very smooth, very soft, a great experience. Once I get out of the shower, I do think I need to dermaplane my face. You know, like, I don't know. I probably should, but I'm also scared because I'm like, I don't know if that's gonna add like excess. You know, like it's gonna be doing too much to my face and then like I already struggle with acne, but I normally do like to dermaplane because I feel like it does make my skin feel more glowy because I feel like it's just like getting off excess like dead skin and like the hairs and stuff like that. My eyebrows don't necessarily need like shaping, like maybe just like the tops. Like sometimes I like to like shape up the tops, but I never really touch underneath just because I always brush my eyebrows up anyways. Those are our main things. I'm in a mood where like I wanna rock. Doing my bed first was probably the worst thing I could have done because I, the way I've been, been sitting in my bed this entire week and those new pillows that I bought are literally like the most comfortable pillows I've ever laid my head on. Making my sleep so immaculate that like in the morning, it's literally such a struggle to get up. So, I mean, that's like a pro and a con that I'm experiencing. But I'm definitely like in a rotting mood where like I don't want to do anything and I especially don't want to take the time to shave. My motivator will be my speaker. dermaplane my skin i feel like my skin is like a sensitive day right now like i have two kind of cystic pimples going i decided to not dermaplane and just do the mask i use the same mask when i originally purchased this mask this is the use of the people super clay purifying clear power mask i think it was like it's like 50 bucks like it's not cheap at all and i was like this is ridiculous like this is really ridiculous this is such a tiny little bottle but realistically you only use like a tiny bit each time and it goes a long way so this was a good use of my money my entire bathroom smells amazing it smells like a gingerbread cookie like a gingerbread sugar cookie and my skin smooth soft the girls are gonna say what they're gonna say on the tiktok i don't know like if a study comes out then i'm gonna do what the masses do but i just love the venus razors with the gel soap bars like built in just because ever since i started using these i have never cut myself while shaving like knock on wood but i've literally never had a cut just because i feel like it's so safe and like i'm going fast i'm in there and i'm like i'd say 10 out of 10 but if they do a study that says it's gonna kill us all in 10 years i'll stop i'll stop 
I feel like I'm looking really spooky because I'm looking like kind of like an alien because I'm gray and then I'm looking bald. So it's just like not a good combination. I've been posting like a little bit more book content. I've been like slowly weeding it in. Like my ideal goal is that my channel is like half and half. That I'm doing like half book content and then also just like half like regular content. Basically just like keeping all the same content that I regularly do but then like adding in book stuff for the people that also enjoy book stuff that like watch my other stuff. A lot of you guys have expressed that you enjoyed it because I really enjoy making them. Like the book content really comes in handy because sometimes I just get bored of my life and sometimes, honestly, sometimes I have days like like I was feeling literally an hour ago where like I just want to sit in my bed, watch TV, and then once that's finished, I do my homework. Or I don't want to do anything that's like moderately interesting to look at for a YouTube video, especially for more than two minutes. So the book content is like when I'm in like a moment where I'm like my life is so boring it's really fun to make and it also just gives me a really fun hobby but March has been a little bit hectic okay March and February so I currently have not read anything and the month is already done and that's why I'm glad that I have my book club because I feel like this is the like for these months where it's like I haven't read anything I feel like the book club is the only thing holding me accountable this is our March read the book club is linked down below it's just like a little chill vibe we vote on a book we have our group chat where we discuss if you want to discuss and then i go live on the book club instagram at the end of the month and we kind of just discuss so this is our pick it's lore of the wilds it's a ya romanticy kind of like love triangle i'm literally only two chapters in but like i said like i know because this is the book club book this has to get finished and realistically this might be the only book that I read in March because it's just been March has just been a month where like I come home from school and I've just been wanting to like sit in my bed and like just watch TV and, you know the first two chapters and I enjoyed it it's very fast-paced um you know it's got it's got like a pretty YA feel right now but I feel like once we start getting to the love triangle maybe we'll have some tension because I enjoy YA romance in fantasy a lot a lot more than YA romance in like just contemporary fiction just because I feel like you can just get like you just get so much angst into YA fantasy romance more than you can in like YA contemporary like high schoolers really don't have that much angst going for them in the in the contemporary books in in my opinion I don't really know if this relationship is gonna go anywhere like you're going to college across the country I don't know where he you know what I'm saying but in YA fantasy it just feels like the stakes are so much higher, so the romance is so much better. And I have to cook dinner. And then also, like I said, March has been a little bit hectic because I've been starting to get into the March Madness thing. And when I say starting, like I'm like I'm really just starting. I do think I have like a slight addictive personality. My current temporary addiction is March Madness. So much so that I've scheduled out the next two weeks of my life and when I'll be going to the TV. And I actually think, oh no, I have 40 minutes. I mean, I'm sure you guys know March Madness, but basically it's like college basketball, mid month of March till the beginning of April. It's basically this huge tournament and then there's brackets and people like bet on the brackets and people try to figure out who's gonna make it to the final four, who's gonna win the championship. It's this whole big thing. And you guys have seen the little slow burn of me and my new obsession with sports that has come from me reading sports romances and basketball has really taken that I haven't made it to enjoying the NBA yet just because there's something about watching grown men play sports well I guess that's not true because like what do I enjoy like, soccer is cool like I don't know it's just something about watching like grown men play basketball that like I see people just play in the- I don't know like it's just something about that like it's just like whenever I see LeBron James like I know like we respect LeBron James. Whenever I think of the concept of LeBron James I'm like this really is my dad like like he's like I mean he's like younger than my dad but like he's basically like my dad playing basketball but like professionally I don't know it's just like I'm not there yet I'm not there yet where I'm like really into the NBA like I really don't I'm, it's not my thing but the college basketball it's like my new soap opera like I am so entertained and i feel like because they're like around the same age as me i don't know why i need relatability in sports but i need that relatability and i have that you know i have the like oh we're both in college like this is fine also i feel like the stakes are just so much higher because i don't know like yeah there's stakes in the nba and again i don't know much about the nba yes there are stakes because of like the playoffs i guess and like i guess you can also be traded you know what i'm saying like i guess there's stakes but like i was saying before with the YA romance. The stakes are just so much higher in college basketball in my opinion because it's like th 
these kids a not kids these college students a don't know if this is going to be their last time ever playing basketball ever because if they're not good enough to get drafted then they're just going to go into a regular job and they're just like never going to play basketball professionally ever again so it might be their last time playing on a team also if they want to get drafted like this is their opportunity to like be like a major prospect also be like the concept of like bringing your school on your back like okay yeah like la lakers new york knicks like blah 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 but like bringing your school like your school on your back and winning your school a championship and then going back to school that next day knowing you just won your school so much clout from a championship that to me is a higher stake and that to me is like i would rather win a college championship and then be able to go back to college and know i'm that guy than like really win an nba player like again it just might be my ignorance so anyways all that's to say it's my new obsession i'm not like i don't want to like make a bracket because like everybody like does it where like they make a bracket and then like you know everybody guesses whose bracket is right but i I'm very superstitious not in my superstition also because like i'm rooting for so many different people that there's so many people that i would like enjoy if they won so i don't want to pick just one i'm gonna go wash off this thing it's been on for way too long i gotta make dinner and then watch this game in 40 minutes <laughs> They're playing Oakland, the 14th seed. Oakland has never won in the NCAA tournament ever. I don't know who I'm looking for. I know Kentucky. Kentucky has some good players. But now, I want Oakland to win. There's four more seconds left. Five more seconds left from the court. Bro, you see what I'm saying? March is crazy. Five seconds left. Number three seed with like NBA draft pick players about to lose to a 14 seed. And I know like teams have off days and like, you know, that's what just be happening. But that's what just makes it so entertaining because you just, you just, you just never know. I wasn't even supposed to tune into this game. This wasn't on my schedule. He's gonna make these two throws and we win. He makes this shot the for me, but he's not a good free throw shooter. But I still don't know who to go for. I'm literally so tired. I don't know, it's like only 11.30, but like, because I'm on my school sleep schedule, I'm like, I get tired by like 11. But this game started late, started at 10, and we're only just started the second half. And I need to watch this game, because I'm superstitious and I really want this team to win. I'm really rooting for them. So I gotta be here, cause like, what if I'm their good luck charm? You know, like, what if I'm good, their their good luck charm, and they don't even know, you know? So like, I need to watch, but I really want to go to sleep, but I can't. You know, <laughs> I gotta stick it out for my team. I'll be here. It's a nice setup. I got my back pillow, my back pillow going. I took out my multiple hair ties from my bun, so my bun's not looking as sleek. And I just got this going. So, shit. Oh my god, he just made a three. Oh gosh. 
See, we, we had a, you know what, no. I don't like to, if I really want a team to win, I don't like to talk about anything. I don't like to say anything out loud. Nothing. Nothing but positivity. So, we're killing it. We're doing a great job. Too much is going on. Too much is going on. We won. We won. So, I'm good. I'm mentally well. I will see the Wolfpacks again on Saturday. Facing off against whoever just beat Kansas. Not Kansas. Kentucky. I can't remember all the, I can't remember, but we won, so I'm happy. As I'm about to lay my head in my pillow, I go on to Spotify to turn on my playlist to go to bed. Why did Olivia Rodrigo just release her unreleased songs onto the Guts album? It's 1 a.m. It's 1 a.m. and I, I need to go to bed so I can wake up and go to school tomorrow. You mean to tell me I'm supposed to go to sleep knowing Olivia Rodrigo just released new music? that I haven't heard yet and I'm supposed to not listen to it. So this will be a good night for you, but I will be up for the next 10 minutes. I think she released like four songs. So that'll probably take 10 minutes. I must listen to them all. If Olivia Rodrigo has no fans, I am dead. It is an extremely gloomy, rainy, cold, cloudy day and I do not I do not plan on stepping foot outside of my room, let alone my building at all today. So I figured it's the perfect day to finally do this aspect of my reset, which I've been putting off for like multiple, multiple months. I'm finally gonna do my reading journal. I don't even know if I showed you guys when I bought this journal, but I remember for my like New Year's, was that a New Year's reset? I don't know, like I made a New Year's video and I showed you guys that I had bought like a moleskin journal and I kind of, I did the thing where I did the 24 books that I want to read in 2024, which that's hilarious because like I haven't even touched any of the books on that list. They're going to get done though. They're going to get done. I just have not touched them, but it's fine because the whole reason I made that list was to make sure that I'm reading enough and technically it's been what? We've, we're three months into 2024 and I think I've already read 10 books. Like I think I'm like well over, like I'm definitely going to be beyond 24 books. In that video I said to you guys that I didn't necessarily like that journal for my reading journal just because it was very thin. The paper was very thin, it was very small, and I wanted my reading journal to be kind of like a scrapbook where I could like kind of go crazy, use scrap paper, use glue, like do a lot of crazy stuff and I felt like that just wasn't the book for this. So I got this one off of Amazon. It's really cute. I kind of started to work on it but then I just stopped because it's like one of those things where I really have to make time for it but when I do I really enjoy it because it's like very calming but I'm also like not very artistic so it's like not the most amazing thing but if you haven't seen like reading journals basically everybody does their reading journals differently I think this reading journal for me is kind of just gonna be like a very informal dump of like the books that I enjoy a lot of people do every month spreads so they'll do like a March spread and have it be a theme and then they'll do that and then they'll do their like March TBR and then they'll do like the review of all the books that they read for March and I just I don't read that consistently or like enough in one particular month to do a full spread so I think I want my journal to just be you know like my reviews on books and have it be like a cute scrapbooking vibe I started to do this which is like the bookshelf spread that a lot of people do um i got inspo from this from like an instagram page that i saw basically you can color them in as you continue to read more books i never finished drawing this so i think i want to finish drawing this and then i think i want to start like i at least want to do like two so here's the inspiration that i want my reading journal to be like i'll put the photos up on the screen like i said very scrapbooky very like essentially making like a pinterest collage but on paper because i feel like that would be so fun i feel like that would be a lot and i also don't have like scrapbooking materials i got a few materials but i don't think it's enough to do like a crazy super cool spread i think what i want to do is do like each page will be like a review of a book which i don't know which one. i think i'm just gonna go based on the order of books i've read so far in 2024 at some point like as the pages go on if there's a book that if there's a book slash series that was like six stars or was like just really really like i enjoyed it fully then i want to do the full page spread i do the full scrapbooking collage and everything i went a little crazy on amazon so i'm like 
I really hope that this hobby sticks because if not, I just wasted a bunch of stuff. But I got this package of washi tape. I always see people using the washi tape as like outlines and doing different styles with that. And then I also just bought a pack of colored pencils. Like, I don't know. This is my, oh, this is cute. I didn't buy a pencil sharpener, which I probably should have bought, but this will be my little container of colored pencils. I like that it comes in this container because my biggest worry was like, I have no space for any of this. I put all of my little like scraps and stuff under my bed and I'm running out of space under my bed. I need to get like an organizer. Just spent money, just spent money I didn't need to spend. But I got this mini printer. I don't have a regular printer in my apartment. And you know, sometimes you just wanna be able to print photos and stuff like that. So I got this canon ivy mini photo printer it's supposed to be able to be like like you could send pictures from your phone and print them and it wasn't too crazy i don't remember how much i believe this was like around 60 or 50 dollars but this is how big it is oh i probably should i think i need to charge it apparently it's like a zinc printer which means like it doesn't need ink I don't know how it works. I don't know how technology does its thing. I don't know how any of that works. It just prints the photo and then you just need the the zinc cartridges, which I have. They only have 30 sheets, so this isn't like the type of thing where you're like printing in abundance. This would only be good for the single page spreads, not scrapbooking. I've been trying to keep up on my Goodreads because I like the Goodreads challenges. Made a new challenge for myself and I'm two books behind schedule. <laughs> It's okay though because like I'll go through spurts where like all of a sudden like I read five books in like you know two weeks and I'm like you know what I'm saying it just counteracts the challenge that I made for myself was 50 books in the year of 2024 which is big for me normally I get through two books in a year and like you know 2023 really turned that around for me but 2023 I think I only got through like maybe 15 and then of course who would have guessed who would have guessed I have basketball going on in the background so it's like a perfect moment i'm gonna draw my little bookshelf and continue to watch basketball i'm kind of i'm currently flipping back and forth between two games that are currently going on because there's the women's game are we at halftime yet 44 versus 28 i'm rooting for tennessee because i like tennessee i feel like they're a good underdog and then so then i'm flipping back and forth between that and this dayton arizona game because this is supposed to be intense but i don't know
has set. That's how long this has taken and honestly, I had a lot of wishful thinking, thinking that I was gonna get through finishing the bookshelf spread and then also getting into like doing the other ones. But honestly, it's like eight o'clock, I need to make dinner, I need to eat food, and my hand is cramping. And I'm like, this was enough art for me today. But I'm pretty very happy with how my bookshelf came out. I feel like I really love how this window looks. It's just so cute. I did, I literally like just copied it from different Pinterest spreads that I saw and like different spreads on Instagram. So this was none of my original creativity, but I just copied what I saw. I think it's cute. I haven't filled in any of the books yet because I'm trying to decide if I wanna write the names of the book when I fill them in, but like they might be too long. So I don't know. I'm trying to think of how I wanna do it when I fill it in, but I feel like this was a good accomplishment but we're not we're not going to be getting to doing the other pages and the other spreads that will just be like i think it's given one page a day and this was two pages so this was this was already a lot hopefully like as i have more free time like right now i just like don't have the most amount of free time with like school and stuff like that so hopefully with spring break and like summer vacation i'll have more free time to really get into all my different hobbies and i do want like scrapbooking and journaling to be just one of those like fun hobbies that like is something you do when you want to have fun but like you're not on your phone you're not you know you're not doing something that requires spending money like just scrapbooking so yeah 